highest paid world leaders, they make hundreds of thousands of dollars every year. In some countries, presidents, prime ministers and heads of government receive high salaries. This list ranks the 10 highest earning world leaders in 2024 according to various sources. The salaries are calculated in US dollars and are approximate. Additional benefits and other compensations vary from year to year due to changes in policies. The highest paid leader among world leaders earns more than $1.6 million a year. This includes annual salary package, 13th month bonus and other fringe benefits. Singapore Prime Minister Lawrence Wong is the highest paid government leader earning over $1.6 million a year. His annual salary package includes a 13th month bonus and other benefits. Second on our list is Hong Kong Chief Executive John Lee Ka Chiu with a salary of $695,000. His position was created in 1997 during the handover of Hong Kong from the United Kingdom to the People's Republic of China, replacing the office of the Governor of Hong Kong, who was the representative of the British monarch during British rule. The third place is occupied by Switzerland President Viola Amherd. He earns $530,000. U.S. President Joe Biden is the fourth on our list with $400,000 per year. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese earns $390,000. But soon, Anthony Albanese will become the third highest paid world leader thanks to a pay rise that pushes his salary above that of U.S. President Joe Biden. It will be the first time in history an Australian Prime Minister earns more than their U.S. counterpart. All federal politicians will get a 3.5% pay rise after a decision handed down by the Independent Remuneration Tribunal. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz earns $367,000 in a year. Other highest paid leaders are New Zealand Prime Minister Christopher Luxon, $288,000, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, $292,000, Chancellor of Austria Karl Niehammer, $370,000, President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, $364,000. Russia was attacked by black-painted Boba drones of Ukraine. Facilities on the territory of the Russian Federation were attacked by black-painted Boba drones. Local Telegram channels published the footage of the drones. According to Militani media outlet, on the morning of July the 9th, Ukrainian Boba attack drones were spotted in the skies over Russia's Astrakhan region. According to preliminary information, they could have attacked a military training ground and airfield located there. One of the drones landed on the field probably due to a technical malfunction. Footage taken by local residents shows that the drone is painted with the black light absorbing paint. The solution of painting the fuselage of attack drones with black paint is not new and has already been used by the Russian military to camouflage its Shahed 136 drones in the night sky. However, it is unclear why Ukrainian drones adapted for night attacks were used during daylight hours when their black profile, on the contrary, contrasts strongly and increases the chance of being shot down. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, the Air Defense Forces intercepted a total of five drones in the Astrakhan region during the attack. Locals also reported that one of the drones was shot down in mid-air. It was also reported that due to the air attack in Russia, the airports of Astrakhan and neighboring Volgograd regions were suspended from 4 o'clock a.m. to 9.30 a.m. On the same day, attack drones struck an oil depot in Kalach on Don in the Volgograd region of Russia. According to eyewitnesses among local residents, about 10 explosions were heard in the city around 4 a.m. After that, a fire broke out in the area of the oil depot with a black column of smoke and powerful fire visible from afar. Moscow's full-scale invasion launched in February 2022 has forced Ukraine to develop weaponry more rapidly, an industry largely based on private initiative to produce cheaper armaments, reduce Kyiv's dependence on its international allies, and to strike on Russian soil. One of the most significant changes of the conflict in 2023 is that Ukraine has taken the war to Russia. Ukrainian drones are launched at military targets and infrastructure in Russia on an almost daily basis. Even Moscow, over 300 miles from the Ukrainian border, has been attacked by drone bombs.